Before we kick off this video, I would like to thank everybody for checking out the video. This video is the first installment of the series of Unfortunate Timelines. Each video of this new series will be focused on a timeline of a prominent figure in Weeb Wars. The timelines will be focusing primarily on the lies, hypocritical moments, disingenuous actions, and all things unfortunate for the specified Weeb Wars figure. I will be linking all sources in the description. These videos take a long time to make. So if you could please like, comment, subscribe, and share the video, that would be super helpful. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's introduce our first figure we will be talking about, Mars Girl. They say the only thing longer than her arms was this intro. For those of you that don't know, Weebors primarily consist of two groups that are in direct opposition to each other. On one side you have Kickvic, a community that mostly lives on Twitter, where they spend most of their time virtual signaling or finding new ways to shit on voice actor Vic Mignogna. Their opposition is an e-movement that calls themselves I Stand With Vic. The I Stand With Vic community can be heavily autistic at times. Don't quote me on that. Nobody wanted these two communities to exist, but they do, and it's all thanks to this tweet, as well as a follow-up tweet from Mars Girl made on January 17, 2019. The first tweet reads, quote, Hard to say this, especially on a night that a DBZ film dropped, and knowing that I have friends slash acquaintances at Funny, but at Funimation, I think it may be time to reconsider hiring Vic Mignogna as a voice actor. In the future, due to years and great volumes of sexual misconduct. End quote. 45 minutes later, she responds to her own tweet. Quote, Does this need, like, a hashtag or something? Something like, I don't know, hashtag kick Vic? Or does that evoke too much of an image of physically kicking him rather than giving him the boot? I don't know WTF I'm doing, I don't create hashtags. Unfortunately for everyone, these tweets are the start of the dark timeline that we live in. A person who admittedly doesn't know WTF they're doing starts a hashtag movement, Kick Vic, which would mostly find themselves shouting with each other slash at each other, anime man Vicky Lasagna bad. The next day, January 18th, 2019, Mars Girl posts on garbage website Pretty Ugly Little Liars, or Pool for short. For those of you that don't know, Pool is a website kind of like Kiwi Farms if Kiwi Farms was ran and operated by Jeffree Star. For those of you that don't know the website Kiwi Farms, there's a link in the description. Check it out. As you can see on the screen, her post on Pool says that she's seen Vic do things with her own eyes. If she's saying that she's seen Vic do criminal things in regards to the accusations that have been thrown at Vic and she hadn't talked to law enforcement, it's kind of disgusting. Otherwise, if she had never seen him do anything criminal, I don't see what the significance of this post is, other than to make him look bad. But that's just my take on it. Four days later, January 22nd, 2019, Mars Girl has another post on pool. First, I was curious as to why she would be posting on pool, but I guess when you're trash, it's only fitting that you find yourselves in a garbage dump such as pool. However, this post is the infamous elevator story. I've personally been two feet away from a drunk Vic who came up t into our elevator from the hotel bar with his arms over a girl's shoulder. All big grins and drinking in his celebrity, shoving his lips into the girl's ear and neck, with the girl having the most uncomfortable face as I've ever seen. Only to watch them exit the elevator and go off alone into a hotel room. You'd better believe, I 100% believe, the majority of stories that have come up about Vic. Because I caught a glimpse of the behavior with my own eyes. Every one of my fringe industry friends has for years had their own Vic stories. That was the running joke for years. Everyone has a Vic story. It's time to stop making that a joke and treat it seriously. Okay, now here's my problem with this story, if it's true. It's totally possible that the girl was actually really into Vic and she looked uncomfortable because she doesn't like PDA or maybe she doesn't like being kissed on the ears. She could have needed to shit for all I know. It's not clear. There's a million reasons why someone can look uncomfortable. Not all of them are sinister. The next problem with this story for me is there's no mention of if the girl was drunk. So I have to go off the assumption that she's not. Mars Girl did say Vic was drunk, so Vic may have been awed 
by this girl who took advantage of him while he was drunk. He may be a survivor, but how should I know? How should anyone know? All we have is a story told online about a guy drunk in an elevator. Moving forward, the date is now February 7th, 2019. Mars Girl asked people to report popular anti-SJW YouTuber, Yellow Flash. First, let's watch a clip from Yellow Flash's video that she was asking people to report. This is what's going on here. So this is leaked screenshots from a private Facebook group. And this is all the stuff that they're planning in there. You should Photoshop that picture so it looks like Vic's hand is on your chest. That way, no one can claim that it's out of context. And it makes Vic look worse than he is. So we got some people trying to defend against that. Now falsifying evidence is gross. And then this person says once again, even if it helps make Vic look bad. And then they say, even if it makes Vic look like Hitler. And then they talk about, oh, it'd be fun. We should do that to make it look like he hates the Jewish people. And then they say, why would you do that? You could get the case thrown out of court. And uh, they say, uh, the person says, not if the Photoshop looks convincing. You go here. Just don't do it. It's extremely harmful to the victims. And then this dumb person says, this is a closed group, so not anyone can see this <laughs> too bad now at least a few thousand people are going to see this so in response to the video mars girl quote tweets someone claiming that the person in the facebook group as seen in flash's video is actually impersonating their friend i'll be honest the person in the screen caps in yellow flash's video um sounds like someone running gay ops However, there's no proof that it is gay ops, certainly no proof that proves it would it'd be yellow flash behind it. Mars Girl's tweet, specifically the one asking people to report Flash's video, reads as follows, quote, That having been said, and I've never said this, but I would strongly suggest flagging this particular video for spreading misinformation about a fake Facebook account created to delegitimize a legitimate concern. Only if you agree, of course, end quote. By default, Mars Girl gets points taken off for asking people to mass flag. Also, you can make the argument that the video spreads misinformation if the person in the screenshots is actually someone impersonating another. But I don't think reporting on this is spreading misinformation. That one's tricky, but tell me your opinion on it in the comment section. I'm interested to hear what other people's take on it is. Regardless, nothing excuses Mars Girl asking people to mass flag Yellow Flash. On the following day, February 18th, Mars Girl makes a post about Yellow Flash on pool. So this is crafted poorly, the post. After you read it a couple times, it becomes clear that the top part is about Vic and the bottom part is about Yellow Flash, but other than some spacing, there's nothing that indicates a change in topics. That's just me being nitpicky. I think I'm just mad that I had to read this post a few times to understand that <laughs> there was a switch in topics. The part of this post from Mars Girl about Yellow Flash says, quote, I saw what he did and I chose not to watch it because there's something wrong with that guy and he's so willing to do things in a manner that deliberately hurts people. The person running the Boycott Anime Matsuri account messaged me and said that they watched one of his videos where he went through a comic and he stabbed every woman he saw on the pages. Not really the kind of guy whose videos I want to watch when they talk about me. I'll probably always have a bounty on my head with the alt-right from this point on, but with any luck, they'll move on to the next big SJW outrage. It'll always come back in little waves, because that's always how it goes. But if the goal is to chase me off the internet, that's just not going to happen, end quote. Now, I think it's safe to say that Yellow Flash definitely stabbed those women on the comic book because he hates women. The ongoing joke about Yellow Flash is everyone has a Flash stabbing comics because of women's story. But in all seriousness, I can't understand if Mars Girl is saying that when Yellow Flash is stabbing the comics, that he's willingly doing it in a manner that hurts people. If so, that's dumb. Stabbing comics doesn't hurt people. It's possible those two sentences are unrelated, but she doesn't make that clear either way. Moving on to February 9th, 2019, Mars Girl states that Yellow Flash, the comic book serial killer, has made her a target. She follows this up with, quote, if I, wa if I wind up dead, I just want it known that it was most likely somebody incited by this guy, end quote. Fittingly, this post is on a site 
with the words ugly and liars in the name. The other two words are probably there ironically. I think it's safe to say that Mars Girl became a target when she kicked off the KickVic hashtag. And I'm not saying that's fair, but I don't need to see proof to know that she's more than likely being harassed. I don't think it's right, but at the same time, it's also really easily avoidable. She may think Yellow Flash is the reason she's a target. She has the right to think that, but I'm not buying it. The following day, February 10th, there's nothing really going on in this video clip of Vic that Mars Girl posted. And that's what Vic would want you to think, right? He's at a con doing a panel and he tells his fans what seems to be an innocent fun fact about cops and when they do or don't need to read you your Miranda rights. Thankfully, I saw this post from Mars Girl and it helped point out what should have been totes obvious. I'd have never picked up on how this interaction was, quote, just sort of weird without her. How dumb was I for not realizing this fun fact was actually sort of weird? Mars Girl goes on to make another post on Pool later in the day. She shares an unverified story about why Vic and his longtime partner Michelle broke up. As you can see on screen, she also goes on to share a text convo between Todd and someone else. The text confirms Vic has a girlfriend 30 years younger than him, which is legal. I guess this is just a fun fact that Mars Girl felt like sharing. Just one day later, February 11th, 2019, Mars Girl made this post, and it's one I can believe. She says, I admit sometimes I'm not sure that I'm really helping. And I'd have been glad to have confirmed that for her at the time, had I have known that she needed the reassurance. On that same day, she would show herself to be disingenuous as she makes a large Twitter thread about the infamous Tomiki coffee line. As you can see in this Twitter thread, she uses this event to paint Vic as some creep, even though, as you can see here in reply, she acknowledges that the girl is 18. In the response, Mars Girl says, no, that's not what they are saying. This is not about her. Nobody has a problem with the fact that she was an adult and her parents were there and approved. Once again, and slower this time, he did not ask her her age. He did not ask if her parents were okay with it. If it's not about the girl that Mars Girl herself brought up, then who is it about? She also responds to another person and says, it's not out of context. The fact that she was an adult with approving parents is not the argument, but that's where she's wrong. The fact that the girl is an adult and that her parents approved is the argument, it's just not her argument. But that certainly won't be the last time where we see Mars Girl be disingenuous. Okay, good news guys, this is actually the second to last poll post we will be mentioning in this timeline, so hang in there. The post happened on February 14th, 2019, and the part that is important, as important as something can be when said by Mars Girl, reads as follows. Quote, but furthermore, if he truly did some of the things he's accused of, I hope he really is finally getting people to take it to law enforcement, as I heard is likely happening now. Because some of those things were pretty bad and should not be things you can just get away with with a slap on the wrist. I don't know, I really want to see the good, but repeated behavior over the course of multiple decades, and only showing a hint of remorse after it finally blew up just seems like it shouldn't be tolerated. When I read for this, I jumped for joy. Finally, people were gonna get that bad anime voice man by going to police, but I was sadly mistaken. Major spoiler warning, but even though Mars Girl said that she heard people will most likely be going to law enforcement to file reports, this doesn't seem to have ever happened. It hadn't happened before this point in the timeline, and it never happened even today, which is a year, a month, and four days after she had said that. Holy shit, we did it. This is the last post on pool that we're including in this video. On February 16th, 2019, Mars Girl cries on pool that she's trying not to crack, but it's hard because people are outraged with her when all she wanted to do was bring awareness over a problematic person that everybody already knew was a problem, according to her. There's just one issue with that. Not everybody agrees he's a problematic person. Mars Girl's only proof for Vic accusations being true are secondhand stories told to her, as well as a brief 
elevator encounter where a chick who was with Vic looked like she was uncomfortable. Alrighty, so I'm super sorry about this, but when I first scripted this video, I had no idea how long it was going to be. For that reason, I'm splitting this video into two separate parts. Um, if you enjoyed part one, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Please share the video and look forward to part two coming out tomorrow. Thank you so much and have a great day.